Now it's Ask the Dietitian with Sally Sawaya from Sally's Diet Right. So welcome, Sally. Yay! Her mic is not on. So how's it? That's, That's the, the telephone. How do I put the microphone? Can you speak? Yes. Hi. Good morning, guys. Oh, I don't know how to do it. Wrong. I don't know how. To, I don't know how to. Well, do it. maybe Sally can take my mic. <laughs> no, just a second. I'm going to do this. Why is it turning the phone on? That's so weird. <sighs> okay, so it's either mic. Okay. The mic is not red. Sally, can you say something? Yes, that's it. Test one, oh, two, there three. We are. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, we, we share your microphone fader with the phone fader. Oh, thank you. And I've got to remember that the little light on the top must not be lit. <laughs> if it's lit, then it's the Nobody phone. Nobody understands what you're saying. I know, I know. <laughs> I barely know what you're saying. So, Sally Sawire from Sally's Diet Fried, how's everything going? It's going well, Gavin, actually. It's uh, lots of people coming in. Now I'm fully booked because everyone go go wants to go back to shape. Yeah, after all the summer festivities yes. are over and everyone's put on <laughs> and weight. And the travel and the vacations, <laughs> yes. Well, back I'm, to routine. And the other way around, in, in the summer I just lose so much weight and I Aww. become like a stick. Good for you, Gavin. Lucky <laughs> you, then. <laughs> no, it's, it's the winter where I sort of eat food and uh, lo lots of food. But yeah. the summer I just you're drinking and you're yeah. always out because people are here, so you're having a lot of dinners. dinners. But I don't get hungry in the summer. That's true. My Some hunger levels don't. are down. I get thirstier, mm. though. Mm. <laughs> You drink your calories, Olga. <laughs> yes, yes. So if you have a question for Sally Sawyer, our WhatsApp number 03-887-000. Did you come armed with your, your top five things this morning? Yes, Gavin, sure. It's five tips to reduce water retention. Okay. Now, you know, everybody has water retention because, you know, your body is made mostly of water, but sometimes it holds a bit too much. People ask about this a lot. Yeah, you know, and sometimes it's related to lifestyle uh, factors, but m if it's related to any diseases, then you have to go to a specialist. So okay. if it's too much water retention, then you visit a doctor. Okay, okay so it's a general water retention. Mm. And how do we know we've got water retention? Um, you will know because you will feel swelling and puffiness and bloating. Yeah. Yes. Especially in your feet. <laughs> true, true. And my face. Yes, and your <laughs> eyes, and under your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so how to uh, avoid water retention, number five. Move around because when you're sitting or standing for too long, your tissues hold on to water and mm. then you will notice, you know, the swollen legs, the ankles at the end of the day. So it's very important to keep moving so that the blood keeps, circula uh, keeps circulating properly. Okay. So if you're going to like a desk job today, make sure that every, I think it's every half, half an hour, every half an hour yes. you have to get up and start walking around. True. That's good. Number four. Eat less salt. I think everybody knows this. I mean, if you have too much salt, your body holds on water. So it's important to reduce your salt intake. I mean, the sodium, because uh, sodium is found in salt. And it's not only the table salt, Olga. You know, it's the crackers, the chips, the salt. The nuts. ingredients in other stuff. Yeah, the processed food, the junk food, olive soy Cheeses sauce. Cheese even. Cheese, Cheese has pickles. a lot of salt. Mm. True, true. So just to make sure to have a minimum of these salty foods. Mm. Okay. And especially when, when you're having sushi, be careful with the... Uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. It's the best True. part. I True. soak them and choose the less. But you're not supposed to get any soy sauce on the actual rice. Mine are like I know. rice floating in the in the soy sauce. <laughs> this is what not I do. I, I soak it all up into the rice. You're not <laughs> like supposed to do that. the bowl, you know. <laughs> Just yeah. the low sodium one. Yeah, Num I do use the low sodium mm. one. Number three, this is uh, ways to stop water retention. Eat more potassium rich foods. Like? Uh, you know, potassium actually it bananas. has to remove the, ex uh, the excess sodium. Yes, through bananas, oranges, uh, tomatoes, dried fruits. Potatoes or potatoes, am I wrong? Potatoes, okay. exactly. Broccoli, green leafy vegetables. Uh, you know, the potassium, it really helps get rid of the excess sodium and the excess water. Mm. So it counteracts the effect of sodium. Okay, that's good. So after that sushi, have a banana. <laughs> I was going to say have a potato, but yeah, banana <laughs> sounds a little bit better. <laughs> have you heard what uh, McDonald's are doing? They're, they're no. doing the Happy Meal now, mm. and instead of fries, you can now choose to have a banana. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. so you can yeah. replace your fries like with a banana. <laughs> So what, what do you think yeah. of that, Sally Sawyer from Sally's Diet, right? <laughs> of course, it's something good, Gavin, especially for the kids because they overload on the salt. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So next one, number two, these are ways to stop water retention. Uh, enrich your diet with magnesium and vitamin B6. These are like, they're good... Um, they're good vitamins and minerals. They are involved in many they functions They make you happy or something. They put you in a good mood. Yeah, you know, they, they actually help reduce uh, water retention, especially in women with symptoms of PMS, ah, premenstrual yeah. syndrome. So that's why... <laughs> I mean, it's really good to have uh, foods rich in magnesium, for example, like nuts, whole grains, beans, 
again green leafy vegetables vitamin b6 is found as in a variety of food namely uh, chicken and fish and whole grains again potatoes and bananas so okay. if you have a variety you will have these two nutrients and then you will feel better less okay, so magnesium retention. and b6 yes and number one of the the water retention foods that we should be eating uh, drink plenty of water it sounds counterintuitive. Exactly, because when you are dehydrated, actually your body holds on to the extra water because of the lack of incoming water. Mm. So your body holds on to the water. What to do is that to drink uh, more water so that the king kidney will function very well and it allows the excess water and sodium to be flushed out of your body. Okay. So see. the more water you drink, the more hydrated you are, the less water you retain. Although, I mean, I do remember those days when I eat sushi late at night and then drink a lot of water with them. I wake up looking like a fish myself. Yeah, like I'm just like a to, blowfish. You need because to that's because the of the sodium. sodium. Yes. You've been soaking but in I the rice. But I've been drinking the water too. Too. Yeah, but then the next day you will, I mean, it will go. It's just okay. temporary, but you need to drink water to get rid of the excess salt. Okay. Sally Sawai in the studio this morning. If you'd like to ask Sally a question, anything to do with nutrition, anything like that, our WhatsApp number 03-887-000. What would you like to ask Sally Sawai from Sally's Diet Right this morning? Radio 1, Gavin Ford in the morning. Sally Sawai in the studio this morning. Our WhatsApp number 03-887-000. So, um, somebody's actually asking about water retention. We mm. just did the five, t five uh, tips about how to reduce it. Um, they're asking if you can take medicine for that because there is apparently medicine that you can take. Yes, there are lots of medicines, but here you need to talk to your doctor because if you take those medicines on your own, you may have uh, you may uh, have some uh, you know side effects. Yeah, uh, it may play with your blood pressure. You you may be hospitalized, so it's dangerous. You'd better ask the doctor if you really have uh, water retention due to a medical problem. Then you will need medication according to the doctor's orders. Okay, mm. but, but don't, don't take don't medicine without. No, don't take it on your own. Don't just take it after having a, a heavy night of sushi. Yes. <laughs> okay. Somebody's asking uh, which is better, drinking regular or cold water first thing in the morning. So it depends on what you like because normally when you drink uh, any water at any temperature it gets the temperature of your body so whatever you like whatever you 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 prefer in the morning you have it for example i prefer it room temperature somebody else cold water but i do know that cold water is better for athletes because it replenishes their uh, uh, their thirst and they are well hydrated better if they have cold water mm, okay that's but for the people it's just for regular for a person i mean you can have it the way you want someone's asking uh, is it okay to have a cocktail shake of milk banana strawberry and honey on a daily basis um, milk it's banana actually, strawberry yeah honey. if it's low fat milk it's a good source of calcium the the fruits used are really good source of uh, vitamins and minerals just don't go overboard on Not honey. too many like one teaspoon yeah. uh, honey is fine I mean I like variety I mean don't stick to the same thing uh, all I mean all days of the week if you want to have it occasionally or uh, every other day it's fine so that you can vary your diet uh, accordingly Okay. Someone's asking about instant oatmeal, like the instant ones, mm. not the, the regular oatmeal. Yeah. Is that healthy? The instant uh, oatmeals are a kind of a healthy uh, grain to have in the morning, especially with low fat milk or yogurt. But again, here the rolled oats are more uh, beneficial because they contain more fiber, more soluble fiber uh, for good health, heart health and digestive health. Okay. Someone has a, another question to do with mornings. How much coffee and when is it best to have it? Okay. How much coffee can we have per you day? You can have moderate amounts of coffee that are recommended for the general population are three to four cups maximum of instant coffee. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, what if you're having espresso? Uh, is that stronger? Yes, it's a bit stronger. So maybe you can have like three maximum during the day because mm -hmm. some people are really sensitive to coffee and it can raise your blood pressure. If you have any heart problems, you cannot have that much coffee. Mm -hmm. So I really I like to have it in the morning so it boosts your, uh, you know, you are more aware. And the one in the afternoon so that again... Uh, uh, it prevents, you know, the after lunch slump. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's asking about milk. Is it better to drink milk in the morning or at night? And what's the difference? Is there a difference? It's, there's no difference. Uh, you can have it either in the morning or at night. Kids can have both in the morning at night. But be careful what you choose. Have the low fat version. But there is something in milk that um, actually makes you sleepy. Yes. True, Gavin. True. So if you have it at night, because we used to have it as children, hot milk. With that skin on the top. No, you remove the skin, but no, the hot, they warm didn't. milk is so nice. My mother never used to remove the skin, so I used to get remove the skin stuck to my lips. So you don't have hands? Remove it. I was I five. I was it. disgusted by that skin. 
I was very proactive. I would remove my own skin from my mm. own milk. Oh, well done. <laughs> Next question. Um, someone has a lot of acid, even though uh, they don't really eat a lot of lemon. Um, what causes this? Is it the food that I'm eating? Acid where? Acid, uh, like maybe the, in the stomach. Yeah, maybe I think like they're reflux. feeling acidic, so I think that means reflux. Reflux. So if you are overweight, it's very good to lose weight because the way I mean, the stomach can press. Uh, too much fat on the stomach can press on the stomach and make uh, make you have that reflux. Mm -hmm. uh, be careful when you eat after you eat. Don't lie down, and then you have to avoid those salad dressings, uh, tomato sauce. Sometimes chocolate can cause uh, uh, can cause reflux. So it depends. You'd better keep a journal and check what makes that reflux, and then you try to avoid it. Okay. Spices, junk food. Um, what else? Somebody says, uh, is it normal to eat breakfast, uh, a very small lunch or no lunch at all, and then dinner uh, for digestion? Is this recommended or do you have any other recommendations? Normally, what we, we say that to have like five small meals is better than three big ones. But for some people, it doesn't work. So it's actually individualized. If someone visits me and cannot have like five meals, then I really do give him the three meal uh, uh, thing. But I, I would rather they have a bigger lunch than the dinner because dinner, if it's too much, it's easily stored as body fat. Uh, so that's why I try to eat the most of the calories before four o'clock. Somebody's asking about water again. A different kind of question, though. Is it important to drink water first thing in the morning? Like, how important is yes, it? Yes, it is very important because at night you are dehydrated. You are not drinking, so mm -hmm. your body loses water. You need to have a glass of two in the morning before your coffee. A and glass or breakfast. two? Yes. Wow. And it gives you energy, doesn't it, first thing yes, in the morning? Yes, it does. The first thing it I, your performance, mental and physical. The first thing I drink is either tea or coffee. This is a source of fluid, but have a glass of plain water before that. Okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got. Uh, I've. Okay, I don't know what okay. that means. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have a question. Oh. Um, we have like 500 questions from other people. Basically, you don't eat anything for, for, for 30 days. Oh. And you just drink water or you can have tea. Is that no, true? No, then you'll die. Well, that's you what I would have thought. It sounds very dangerous. And my friend is, is on it. Oh. Do, do you know Ben? No food? No food. He hasn't eaten anything for two weeks. He will lose a lot of weight. He will be wasted. He will lose muscle mass, water, fat, but he will no, be this very... Is starvation. Very, starvation. Exactly. It's like fasting, starvation. No, definitely we don't recommend that. Maybe but is, yeah. could he drop down dead? I mean, is, uh, is after 40 or 45 days. It depends how much fat reserves he has before he starts that fasting. Normally, we can stay without food for about 40 to 45 days. But if he's already skinny... No, he's not skinny. Okay, so if he has reserve, like, you know, before in famine... But how is uh, he, like, able to live yeah, and function? The fat, the fat can give him energy. Transfer to ketone But bodies. that can't be, like... It's you know? not optimal, of course. But, but is, he, is he losing muscle as well as the fat? Of course, Gavin. He will lose from all the tissues. Uh, mm. Muscle as well as fat. Anyway, back to your questions. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks for that. <laughs> um, what else? Somebody was saying, can Sally give us a pre-workout natural recipe? So maybe I guess I, something you can eat. Maybe I can post that on my uh, Facebook page. I like it. But something very easy to do is to have... Uh, if it's just half an hour before the before your workout, have a piece of fruit. If it's like two hours, you can have like yogurt with some kaak or yogurt and banana, uh, or some with some almonds, or just a small peanut butter sandwich. Okay. Um, what else? Somebody's asking if there's any diet remedy to quit smoking. Is there? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, no, no. When you quit, you need to go on a diet. Right, but it's not like a diet that's going to help you quit. Yeah, no, there's no such thing. Okay. But you need to be careful with your food intake because you normally gain like three to four kilos after quitting. You need mm. to be careful about your snacking because you crave more food. Mm. Mm. And you want something in your mouth. Yes. Okay. Uh, other questions? Someone saying, um, I have high levels of uric acid and SGPT. What can I do? Uh, I'm on meds for uric acid, but I'm still feeling pain in my joints and any food to... So is there any food to avoid of course. or to consume? I lost 17 kilos in the last five months. Cool. If you need to lose more, uh, I think if, if you are really obese, you need to lose more and the values will go back to normal. Lots of people have high uric acid in our uh, community. Mm. Uh, you need to be careful about the amount of proteins you're eating. You cannot have too much um, meat, chicken, fish, as well as green leafy 
vegetables and beans. You need to visit a dietitian and we can help you out with the planning of your menu. Okay. Okay, one more question. Um, okay. Uh, chili pepper. Mm. I thought this was an interesting one. Yes. Uh, are there benefits to uh, to eating chili pepper or is it a myth? Of course there are benefits. Chili pepper is really very uh, healthy because it contains loads of antioxidants. I've heard it helps you lose weight. It, it does something to your metabolism. You because it helps boost your metabolism temporarily. So mm. whenever you have a, a, a meal with chili pepper, you are your, your metabolism is boosted. So it can help uh, you lose weight. Uh, and uh, it's actually like it has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial properties. Really? So it helps cleanse your digestive system. So we should be munching on chilies? Um, Okay, Maybe not munching, it. but yeah. <laughs> put Add it in your recipes. Yeah. Well, Sally Sawai, thanks for all your advice today. You're welcome. Sally from Sally's Diet Right. How can we get in touch with you at Sally's Diet Right? My Facebook and my Insta, it's Sally's Diet Right, and the right is spelled R-I-T-E. Sally from Sally's Diet Right, thank you. Have a great uh, Wednesday, and keep it here for the it's hits. Thursday. Oh, Thursday. See you tomorrow. <laughs> right from the start, you were a thief.